black bell model basically uh, now uh, this model is also known as angle colliton miniard model because there are uh, certain changes like uh, decisional variables which was being uh, aided by the miniard and according to miniard these are the very important role plays while making decision so uh, now we call this model as uh, angle collagen miniard model uh, first of all uh, we are going to discuss uh, what this model is uh, then we will uh, discuss each and every part of this model so before starting the model uh, let me tell you this model is all about you know the decision making process how consumer makes decision what are the interrelationship among all the stages of the decision making process and what are the variables which plays very important role so when you will see uh, this model the decision making process is a central point and uh, each and everything moves around this decision making process so here we will uh, make this as a central and then we will uh, start with uh, the input then information processing uh, then we will discuss decision making process finally decision variables and uh, the external factors which plays very important role in you know changing the buying behavior so first start with the input Although initially I, have, uh, I just want to make it very clear uh, this model has divided into five important parts uh, five important uh, you know the postulates the one is input information processing the decision process decision variables and external factors input basically is your uh, internal and the external stimuli when we say stimuli, uh, basically uh, we talk stimuli in terms of the marketer and the non-marketer stimuli. When we say marketer, then from the marketer perspective, the stimuli are you know the television, uh, you know the, the in the internet, your word of mouth, public relation, publicity, you know. And when we say non-marketing stimuli, then it comes your uh, social classes generally. Right, your cultural norms, uh, which which are a part of the external factors. So, uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, individual are being exposed to the input, um, for example, in the form of the advertisement. So, when uh, uh, individual sees advertisement, what happens? Basically, that person, you know, uh, the starts processing the information, uh, you know, received uh, through, you know, the uh, the stimuli. So first, it starts with the exposure. He 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 or she is being exposed by them the particular advertisement. That exposure creates attention. And uh, after exposing and attention, uh, consumer starts understanding the brand. So uh, it's a brand comprehension. And if consumer understands this this particular product is in accordance with the need of uh, me, need of uh, need of me, then 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 consumer generally accept that product. And uh, and finally whenever a consumer talk about you know the purchasing the same thing in future like we talk about the reinforcement right so whenever a consumer go for the reinforcement for that it is very necessary that consumer retain the same for a longer period of time so when we say retention basically it comes in your memory so uh, so so uh, your, your stimuli it starts with the marketing and non marketing uh, part then then it starts you know the processing uh, inside the memory and finally uh, you know uh, the, the memory leads to uh, the the accumulation of the various alternative evaluation so here the third part is the decision making process so uh, in next video i'm going to discuss uh, the interrelationship among the rest three variables for that